It's so gnarly! I want to give a shout out to two major companies that helped me out with this build. Emoto Bros and Prickly Motorsports. Emoto Bros uh, gave me a battery and a BAC 4000. Uh, so the thing absolutely rips. And they gave me an egg grater as well. So uh, Prickly, they gave me all like the the aftermarket parts on the bike and they look super stylish. So I want to give a huge shout out to those two companies. And uh, other than that, let's get right into this build. Finally, the day my Suron is gonna be 100% complete. Now, I'd say like 85% complete. It's pretty much gonna be done. It's just other little things that I'm gonna do here and there, like breaks and stuff. But uh, I want to give a huge shout out to Emoto Bros before I even open this up. Uh, they're the ones who are making this part of the build completely possible. So, huge shout out to Emoto Bros. If you guys have a Suron or you guys want to make some modifications, I highly advise hitting them up. Uh, this is gonna be sick. Moto Bros right here. Guys, this is my bike. It's about to rip. The battery. With e Moto Bros on the front there. So the battery, the controller. And then in this box right here, we have the charger, power charger. So the battery that I have is a 60 volt. It's not a 72 volt. I have double the range as a normal battery with the 60 volt. I'm gonna have the same torque as the 72 volt, but my top speed, to, I think it's 60 or 65 versus 75, which is the 72 volt. I did want the 72 volt. A lot of people that have it, I talked to them and they said they have the 72 volt. I'm more of a dirt rider. I'm not really a street rider. Maybe I'll try to get into more street riding with this battery, but as of now, I'm mainly dirt and they say they never use the full power of the 72 volt battery on the dirt so this should be plenty for me i'm beyond stoked with it i'm excited uh, i'm gonna go to nathan's i'm gonna load everything up and we're gonna throw this stuff on this build process has been like a four month process i have footage from like months over time guys cutting into the video here we have a sponsor for today's video if you guys are unfamiliar with magic spoon magic spoon is a healthy cereal zero grams of sugar 
13 to 14 grams of protein, only four net carbs and 140 calories per serving. These are keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, and low carb. And as of recently, I've been like watching what I eat specifically. I used to always eat cereal. Um, I'm not gonna name which kinds of cereal, but they're probably not the best for you. That's where Magic Spoon comes into play because I love cereal and their cereal is actually healthy for you. My favorite flavor as of now is probably gonna be chocolate. If you guys are interested in this, Magic Spoon has a variety pack with all their best flavors. They also just came out with the new flavor and this is it right here, Honey Nut. I'm gonna try this. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. Click the link below, use code ZAY5 for $5 off or go to the link magicspoon.com slash ZAY5 for $5 off your order. And yeah, don't forget to try this new flavor. Honey Nut. Holy. All right, finally, it's been a long time coming. I'm finally stoked. My star on build is officially finished. Yeah, yeah, all this money on me. Yeah, yeah, cash rolls all around me. Yeah, yeah, all this money around me. Yeah, yeah, cash rolls all around me. I would say like 95% finished because I'm gonna do other little tiny things But as far as like big mods and stuff that I did the thing it's, it's done I'm gonna put a carbon fiber uh, battery cover on it and like little like miscellaneous stuff like that A lot of you guys asked for the build beyond stoked on this I haven't even got to ride this thing yet I wanted to take all the shots and everything that I needed to get of it keep in mind when I was getting the parts for this, a lot of people wait till they have every single part and then put it all together at once I was basically putting parts here and there on and keep riding it starting off with the front we have Shinko 241 tires. So these are the stock rims. I need to get rid of these and probably put different ones on here pretty soon. And then on the other side, we have a Luna. It's like an oil slick rotor. I just got it from the Luna website. We got the Fox 40s on the front dialed. These things are amazing. Fox 40s are dope, but like I would say other forks are probably worth the money. I don't know. These are just like highly overpriced. Like they work really well. If I could go back, I would probably just choose the Bomber 58s. But Fox 40s on the front. We got the Kane 40 Creek uh, headset because the stock headset on the surrounds are kind of trash, as you guys know. If you guys don't know, you will know. Um, I have the stock bars on it because I like the low feel, so I haven't, these bars are perfectly fine too, so I haven't had a reason to really change them yet. We have the Prickly Motorsports uh, levers, front and rear brakes. These things are dialed. Up front here, I have this Amazon, <laughs> I don't even, it's like an Amazon light. It's just a bar, a light bar. Pretty bright, it's not bad. Um, it's not amazing by any means but it's pretty cool. Triple clamps on here. I think these are called Flynn. Then we come down here, we have the BAC 4000 from Emoto Bros. High discharge 60 volt battery from Emoto Bros as well. But beyond stoked on the Emoto Bros package because this thing is, this thing rips. I can't wait for you guys to see this. Prickly Motorsports peg mounts. So they got the pegs and then they got the, the mount that like brackets on. I don't even know what exactly what that's called. And they got a brace in the back here. We got a new gold chain. We have a 54 tooth rear sprocket because I wanted more torque when it was stock and it didn't have these mods. Now the torque is just insane. But we have more prickly parts right here. These basically just, they're, they're stronger and lighter. I think that's literally it. We have some other stuff here too on the back. Um, this rotor cover from Prickly Motorsports as well. I have the stock brakes on here. That's probably another thing I will want to change. The brakes are all right, but then I wear through my pads just like a little bit and my pads just go like quick, especially now that I'm gonna be going faster. They're gonna wear way faster. Sh Shimano, I'll put it on the screen what kind of brake pads I have on here. They're good, not bad for the stock stuff, but uh, I definitely wanna get rid of that soon. Dude, yeah, so this is things pretty much it. I left the rear shock stock because actually it's not bad. It's pretty good, believe it or not. I like it. I also have a chain drive. So this is normally a belt drive. I swapped it to a chain drive just so it could be more reliable because my belt started to tear. So I was like, I'm gonna get rid of it. Just put a chain drive on it. So yeah, it is a little bit louder, but it's not as loud as everyone makes it seem. Like it's really not that big of a deal. Like when you're riding with a helmet on, like it's not that big of a deal. I still ride it around my neighborhood. No one's gonna complain. Like I know you guys are like, oh, I want the stealth. Doesn't really matter to be honest. But yeah, that's my bike. So I'm beyond stoked on it. Let me know what you guys think. If there's different stuff I should do to it. For the most part, the thing's pretty much done. I need wheels, battery, a new battery cover. I want the carbon fiber one because I think it looks sick. This build has taken me a long minute and I think it came out pretty well. Today we're gonna go out, we're gonna ride my buddy Joey's house and we're gonna have a whole squad of sir on. So I'm gonna get everyone's reaction riding it with the new power upgrades. All right, it's level 90, I'm starting you off. 
fastest mode. Hey, just feel it. Just ride it down the road. Just feel it. it feels normal. And then like get on it. <laughs> so gnarly. It's so fast, dude. No. That's crazy. Hop on it. Hop on it. Don't get all throttle happy now. Throttle. I'm not kidding. Yeah, some new this, levers on this, this thing, thing too. This thing's probably faster than your 250, bro. I'm not even kidding. I got it. I got it. I'm That's how electric bikes feel. <laughs> Thoughts? It goes too fast for the brakes. It does. I had to, hey, that's region. I had to turn it on on five region. Oh no. -uh. Yeah, I turned it off and I was like, dude, I'd f destroy my brakes. It feels like it would be like if you were sitting in like a really fast RC car. Yeah. Like you just that's what I said. I just told him that. It's like a. I think you could for sure ride a super. That's just a controller in the battery. It's just controller in the battery. Yeah. Throwing you in mode nine. You'll feel it. You'll feel it one hundred percent. Just stay on the straight because it actually has like some get up. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> sick, huh? That is insane. <laughs> All right. I'm starting it off in mode five, so. Also, hopefully there's GoPro angles. Good. All right, this feels a little faster than stuff. I'm cranking her up. All right, get it, I'm on mode nine. Oh, this is gonna be sketchy. So much power! Oh. Dude, it's so gnarly! It's so gnarly! Dude, that thing is so fast. Oh my gosh, I know. Let's see, 154 BPM, baby. I'm at 170. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah. Get that cardio up, dog. Dude, I, I'm working this bike. You're, <laughs> like you're riding a 450. Dude, I think like mode seven is like perfect for the track though. Like mode nine's a lot. Wasted 5% out on the track. That thing is way too fast. I'm not even the highest mode either. Oh. Almost, I almost literally tripled that. Do you see that? Yeah, next to me? Yeah, I OJ'd the hell out of that thing. Truck. I'm gonna need new wheels on this thing ASAP. I will say mode seven is probably the best Dude, that thing for the track. Thing is sick though. Like, it's like putting a 110 against a 450 on a track. It is. It is like putting a 110 versus like a no, dude, maybe. I was dialing dude, a J-cut. You literally go past me and I gotta cut the track to catch you. <laughs> as soon as you get on the gas, you're gone. So, bro, do you want to ride it? <laughs> he said, nah. <laughs> he said, nah. <laughs> Swap me up. My throttle's on, so be careful. Yeah. That's mode seven, so the arrows just make it go up. So seven's like what I normally like. Oh, okay. And then go up. Back to a stocky. Oh my god. Dude, what is this thing? <laughs> oh, his brakes are really good though. Yeah. Okay, basically wide open for that. Wide open for that. 
a noticeably big difference. Barely makes that out in case it can't wheelie. Oh my god. World of a difference. Oh my gosh, he's ripping! I'm like over jumping everything. <laughs> Dude, it's so hard to keep up with you. This is why I did not want to try this. Dude. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my god. I do feel the, the lightingness, like your bike's more light with this though, I feel it. Oh yeah, the carbon? Yeah. <laughs> the carbon for sure, yeah. You didn't even put it in nine? No. Oh my gosh, you didn't even put it in nine. No. Easy. Yeah, you gotta hit it, Matt. See? Yeah, Paul. You still gotta hit that finish line, dude. If that... you made it this far, <laughs> no more baby Paul. I'm still gonna have him comment baby Paul. <laughs> See, it's easy, Matt. I got to 59, I was still climbing. Yeah, yeah, all this money on me. Whoa, yeah, 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 cash rules all around me. Whoa, yeah, 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 all this money around me. 